Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another tournament prediction video. I've been really enjoying doing these, so we're going to do another one today. It's for Pound, the tournament coming up this weekend. Very excited for it. It's going to be very, very big. A uh, big follow-up after Genesis. There's like three in a row. It's, it's a, it, Ultimate is eating good in April, that's all I'll say. Uh, but we're just going to go through probably the top 13 for seeding, then some other ones, and then I'll talk about what I think, what I think should be changed. Disagree, agree? Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, first is Light, second, or sorry, first is Leo, second is Light, Third is Tweak, fourth is Gluttony, fifth is DeBuzz and Cola, seventh is Ken and Zamba. Ninth is Cosmos, Myron, Chegg, Riddles, thirteenth is Atelier, Louis Money, Sonics, and Gact. And then here we have uh, Tilde, Apollo Kage, Peevnut, Capitancito, Jake, Jackal, Leon, Icy Mist, uh, American Leon, Pinkfresh, Axiom, Pape, Ned, Kobe, Nido Sharp, Wadi, Dark Wizzy. Now obviously there's going to be a lot more amazing players. Uh, that are at this tournament, uh, but I'm just not going to go through all of them. Uh, I don't believe Mars is at Pound. I don't believe Esam is at Pound. I don't believe Sparkle is at Pound. I think those are the three big ones from uh, last week that aren't really going to be here because you still got Gact here. You still got Atelier here. Uh, I guess no Raflo either unless he just didn't make this part, but uh, not as much EU talent, I don't think. But anyway, getting right into it. Uh, the top eight... Low key, not terrible. Uh, I definitely put Leo first. It might be recency bias. I think Gluttony at fourth is maybe third. I don't know. I think Light being second. While I think he probably will get that because he's kind of insane. I don't know if I would put him there. I just don't know who I'd put second right now, honestly, because uh, Gluttony. But I feel like that's kind of recency bias. Although he has been doing very well, and that's what seating is kind of off him. Uh, with the third at uh, Rado, or Delfino Maza, and then obviously the second at Genesis. So I can definitely see Gluto getting second again, especially now that there's no Spargo in this tournament. And then Light being, I think, third is definitely definitely fair. And then I'd put Tweak fourth, uh, despite, like, he didn't have an amazing performance last time. And obviously, like, I don't want a super effect recency bias, but a, a bad result's a bad result. Hey. But uh, yeah, I think, I think all these are fine. I think everyone in... The top eight should be in the top eight, except maybe Ken. Um, I would maybe put the only person I would put over Ken would be Cosmos. Uh, even though he did have a lackluster performance, well, he didn't even have a lackluster. He got like thirteenth or seventeenth or something. But even though he didn't have an amazing performance like what he usually does, uh, I still think he could do very, very well. Definitely, at least this would be what I expect. Uh, Tellier being placed here i think it's fine uh, he didn't do amazing at genesis but he's obviously an amazing player so hopefully we see him do amazing again gax being the same place i agree uh louis money chag over louis money yeah i agree i think you know i was on the louis money is best poly train but uh chag's been he's been playing really really well recently and louis money obviously is insane but i guess we'll just have to see how they're playing on the weekend Riddle's getting ninth. absolutely. He's been turning up lately. Uh, 13th at Genesis, 4th at uh, Collision. He's been playing phenomenally. Myron, obviously, 5th at Genesis. Like, very, very expected. Uh, Sonics. Ooh, Sonics is really high. So, obviously, Sonics is very good. Do I think he's over someone like Tilde or Leon? Mm, I don't think so. I think Tilde's been kind of playing really nice lately. Here, let's check... Let's check PJ stats. Maybe until they had a couple bad tournaments that I just forgot about. My mind caps lock. I think he hasn't been to one in a little bit. Uh, last one was Collision, so we got ninth at Collision, ninth at Glitch, and then Smash World Tour. Oh my god, he qualified for that effort. Oh no, he didn't. Unlucky. And then ninth at Let's Make Big Moves. So he hasn't had that top eight since SmashCon, but getting consistent ninths. And then has Sonics had any? Outstanding performances lately. Uh, obviously, no shade to Sonics. He's been, oh my god, he's been killing it online. I forgot. He's been winning like every coin box. But obviously, offline doesn't dictate online. Or the opposite of what I've been saying. Uh, he hasn't been to a tournament in a while. Wow. Damn, he's been farming online. Holy crud. Okay, so he hasn't been to an offline tournament in like. Or offline major. He was at CEO. Last one was CEO. They got ninth there. And Smash will... T oh, no. He got ninth in the other bracket. Damn, he was close to qualifying. I was about to say, I do not remember... Wait. 
did Sonic's get ninth at Smash World Tour? He did. What? That's crazy. Oh my god, he's insane. Okay, maybe. Do you know what? Maybe. Maybe. He hasn't been anything in a while, though, so we'll have to see. But uh, him and Tilde, I think, are the most interchangeable. I think everyone else there, like, who was it? It was uh, Gact, obviously amazing player. Louis Money, obviously amazing player. Atelier, obviously amazing. Uh, Myron, it might be a recency bias thing, because Myron has had, obviously, some insane tournaments. But then he's had some just okay ones as well. Obviously, all, t all relative to a top player. I just need to put that in the description of every video I make. Relative to the best of the best of the best. Okay, he hasn't been to anything in a while. 17th at Smash World Tour. Did he make it out of pools? I think he did. I'm pretty sure he made it out of pools. So he hasn't been to... Okay, Genesis is his first tournament, essentially, and he got fifth. Okay, maybe I just don't know about much about this game as I thought I do, because these players have been destroying it, so I guess the seating is actually super fair. I definitely think Myron's going to do very well. Uh, I think last pound he got, like, second, so we'll see if he can repeat that fashion. Uh, let's go back to here. Uh, yeah, Sonics would be the only one that I'm kind of questioning, just because he hasn't played in a while, but we'll see. Dark Wizzy, very happy to see him back. Uh, I think he can definitely do this well. I think he popped off last year at pound as well. I think that was kind of his breakout tournament, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. The set's playing right here, but I, yeah, I could be wrong. Uh, Axiom XL, definitely deserve. Puppe, yep, Ned. Yeah, all these all these are fine. I, th I like all these. Let's go to the players, actually. I'm just going to type in players that I think are going and see their seed. Uh, no Void. Let's check. No Esam. No Mars. Who else is a very, very good player that I'm forgetting? No Sparkle, we know that because he would definitely be in top 8. I guess we can just scroll down this. I feel like... That's a most of the super strong talent. Obviously, I'm missing some very good players. Is MVD... Hold on, I guess... We don't need to, we don't need to look for him. We can just look it up. MVD is not going. Okay. I'll skip that. Let's go to top eight. Show protected. Lovely. All right. Now let's look at some brackets. Uh, I think I think this is seated very very well. Like I had a lot more problems with Genesis seating, but I think they changed the bracket as well for it, so that might have fixed it. But that was also like it was like three times as big, so it makes sense. Uh, Leo versus Ken. Unlucky for Ken, I'll say it. And then Leo versus Atelier. Dude, Leo, Leo is just killing international content. Because <laughs> he, he has the buzz. He goes Gluto, Ken, Atelier. Who's even pool? Ned, oh my gosh. Unlucky. Oh, Tilly Atelier. That set's going to be phenomenal. I'm excited for that one. Uh, oh, Jake. Jake being seated here. Uh, I think he can do it. I think Jake hasn't had an amazing performance since Glitch. I think he's lost fairly early on. I know a Genesis thing he got like 97th or something along those lines. This seems right. We'll find out. We will find out pretty quick. Zombachag. Did they play? No, they didn't. Aaron. Aaron Beach. Oh, Tweak Yak. I hope that happens. That'll be hype. Cola Riddles. That's a run back I've been wanting since Collision. I, that was a great set. Yeah, Genesis. Okay, he got 65th at Genesis. And then Collision, he got 25th. So not definitely not terrible placements. Like, 3rd is obviously amazing. 25th is very good. And the 65th, uh, you know what? That's I can never get that in my life. So we'll take those. Jackal. Jackal's amazing. I, if Jack, I need Jackal to have another SmashCon run. Because if he does that, he's going to be, like, top 5. Like, when he was playing that well, oh my god. It was insane. Ken Cosmos, that's going to be a tough set. I don't know if Ken Cosmos have ever played Ken vs. Cosmos. Uh, it doesn't look like they've ever played. Nope. I'm going to say no because Google didn't pull it up immediately. So I don't know if that's ever going to be. That's going to be a very interesting set. I don't know who takes that. Uh, I feel like Cosmos, it's depending on what kind of day it is for Cosmos because... You know, sometimes he runs in, sometimes he plays like an absolute god, so I guess we'll see. 
The Buzz Myron? Oh. That's that's messed up. That's actually that's messed up. I don't like that at all. How could how could you? So one of the Almars is gonna have to murder another. That sucks. Well, maybe the Buzz will go Rosa though. Who does Light have to fight? Sonics? Uh, I think Light should Light should beat Sonics, I feel like. I feel like Light has been getting very, very good at patient play recently. MKLeo Atelier, it's probably going to be Leo, but if anyone from Japan were to pull off that upset, I honestly think it would be Atelier. Like, I feel like Leo has Japan's number very well, but so he just needs kind of that new blood. Like, I don't, I can't really think of a time, besides when he traveled to, uh, I think it was like an Umaboro when Joker first came out, where Leo has been beaten by a Japanese player. Like, obviously, there's definitely one. If you can think of one, just tell me below, and I will say, oh. <laughs> but in recent memory at least Leo's been kind of crushing that region uh, I think I think all of these gluten -y Louis mm, we'll see that's gonna be interesting because last time Chag gluten -y played and obviously these are very different people and maybe this wasn't even the last time all I know is that main stage Chag kind of went crazy with Apollo so maybe Maybe Gluten is a Apollo problem. I think he's lost Raflo a couple times. Maybe maybe Warrior doesn't do so great. So we'll see. That could definitely go the other way. But, you know, Gluto has also been playing amazing lately. So we'll have to see. Uh, Tilde Dark Wizzy. That's going to be a fire set. Riddles Tilde. That's going to be a fire set. I think Tilde got kind of rolled by Riddles last time they played. If they played. I remember Riddles played someone at Collision and actually just bonked on them. It might have been, not, wait, it might have been Jake, or not Jake, uh, Quid, or both. Let's see, where's Collision, alright. Uh, yeah, so he did beat Tilde, and I think he was, he was fairly dominant. 3-0 obviously doesn't tell the whole set, but I think it was fairly dominant. Leon Cosmos, have we seen that run back yet? Since the, you know tragedy not even the tragedy the the absolute masterpiece that happened at smash and splash uh we have a nightmare and smash dream okay it's been a while it, not since not since they just came out but uh, i'm i'm excited for that that's gonna be a great set if that happens who does leon projected lose to gacked uh, low key i feel like leon can take that very very handily leon oh and then he has to play stock taker though see that that's where it gets. Oh, Armadillo's here. Very good Lucario player. That's exciting. I think Leon could definitely cause that upset. That could that could make a lot of noise. Jake, who does Jake lose to? Jake loses to Sonics. That is going to be tough. I feel like if Sonics just kind of camps Jake at all, Jake will win. And he has he kind of has to force Sonics to play aggressive, which will be interesting. Oh, Light Dark Wizzy? Oh, yo, it's the rematch of this. Let's go. That's going to be sick. Beast is here. Beast is amazing. I hope Beast as well. Is Quid here? No, he'd be he'd be in this part of the bracket. Mm -hmm. Let's see who else. Who else? My very thinks very good in losers that could definitely upset. Zomba Wadi, the Rob Ditto. That's messed up. What's with all the Dittos they're doing? You got the Almars fighting. You got the Robs fighting. I guess Wadi plays kind of Mewtwo now. Mewtwo or Samus. I don't know if he still plays Samus. No. Oh. At least they don't have a uh, Louis Money Check. That would be an absolute travesty that they're doing on purpose. But uh, yeah, I guess that's my only real quarrels. I think people that could overperform their seating significantly. Uh, Cosmos, even though he is seated very high, I think Cosmos is an amazing player and will impress me to no to no end. I think I think Atelier can do it. I know he didn't have a great run of Genesis, he didn't have a bad one, but his losses were like against, I think, like, demons that just got knocked into losers. Also, it might be pronounced Atelier, and I might be saying it wrong. Okay, hold on. Ah. Uh, only one L. Only one, I was close. He lost to Skittles. That's tough, Skittles is crazy though. And they lost to base mage, yeah. So he lost to very, very good players only. With, like, playing weird characters, too. Like, obviously, uh, Young Link definitely a top tier, but uh, Puff's kind of a throw-him-out-there one. 
Uh, Riddles, I think, cannot perform a seed. He does have to project to play Ken and Gak, though, which I feel like would be tough for Shoto's. I don't know why. I know, I know for a fact that Sonic would be. But, uh, maybe Ness, I don't know. No, I'm not a Shoto master. And mark this in my words, I never will be. Louis Money Myron, I think Luis can win this for sure. I think Luis is insane. Yeah, I guess that's it. My projections to win the tournament. Uh, number one, Leo, obviously. You know what? If you're a gambling man, you always gamble on Leo. Next would be Light. You no, know, getting on the second seat for second. You know, I'm crazy. I'm bold. Then I would say probably Cosmos. Um, I'm not going to say Tweak, even though I usually do, because Tweak kind of has a very hard bracket, like obviously everyone does. But Tweak has Sharp, Armadillo. Armadillo could definitely cause an upset. Tweak loses to weird characters. Gact. Cola. Light. What we project to lose to. Like, that's... Tweak's got a tough bracket. Leo also does, like... Everyone is is insane here, so... Tweak can do it. I'm not going to put him in my three, though. Who is my three? Uh, I'm not going to put Leo in my three either, because so he's just going to win, and that feels kind of lame. I want to get someone uh, quirky. Quirky and not the first seed. So, Light, Cosmos, and... I'm going to say Riddles. I've been very impressed with Riddles lately. I think he could definitely do it. 13th at Genesis is amazing, and he's someone that you can tell is very hungry to get that, that, get that number one spot. And honestly, Pound's going to be his tournament. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I might be doing a restream on Saturday. Like, restream after the stream, like, so a literal restream because I'm at work for it. So, if you guys want to check in there, see me reacting to VODs live, then, uh, yeah, come hang out. But if not, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.